These are the Meta Ray-Ban Wayfarers. They're a pair of $300 smart glasses that feature a built-in camera, speakers, and an AI assistant that can handle all kinds of things, from calls and texts to more complicated questions like, Hey Meta, who was the 20th governor of Wisconsin? And here's why they are arguably the best AI product you can get on the market today. So let's take a look. This video is brought to you by Soundstripe. If you've ever spent what feels like way too long looking for the right music for your videos, you're going to love their new AI-powered song editing feature. It helps you find the perfect track and customize it in just a few clicks, so you can get back to creating. In fact, many of the songs you'll hear in today's video were edited using this tool. I've been a Soundstripe subscriber for almost five years now, and I can't recommend it enough. Use code BRADY10 at checkout to get 10% off your purchase and make editing your videos a whole lot easier. And thanks again to Soundstripe for sponsoring this video. All of these bells and whistles, all the specs, don't really matter in these glasses. In fact, they tend to kind of tuck them away and more focus at the experience. It's about what you can do with this technology that matters far more. Oftentimes, AI gadgets try too hard to stand out in not all the right ways. They make you relearn all of these weird methods of doing everyday tasks like calls, texts, and emails. But that's where Meta did the smart thing here. They took an everyday accessory that most people already have on them and made it more useful with many things that you would normally already reach for a phone to do anyway. This allows you to stay more in the moment. And the way you control these just feels kind of natural. There's a touchpad on the right arm of the glasses where you can swipe forward to turn the volume up and back to turn the volume down. Oh, and there's this cool little button here on top of the temple. You press once to take a picture and you can press it and hold it to start a video recording. While I definitely wouldn't be taking portraits with these, anytime there's something more simple like a sign or a menu or even a Wi-Fi password at a coffee shop that I need to take a quick snap of for later, reaching for my glasses has been way more convenient than pulling my smartphone out of my pocket. These glasses also allow for some really unique perspectives too. Perspectives that you wouldn't normally get from a phone. I've gotten so many pictures and videos from handing these off to friends and them just having a good time with them. While you're recording, there's this little LED light that illuminates here to let everyone around you know that you've got a camera rolling because Google Glass made a lot of people really mad about wearing cameras on their faces. The sensation of listening to music while having an open ear is really nice too. It's a little bit hard to describe, but it's kind of like having transparency mode, but a step further. You can still drown people out with these though, for better or for worse. People sitting next to you will hear it if it's at max volume. I dare you to try to maintain a conversation while listening to music, even at like half volume with these. It's like talking through a speech jammer. The microphones on these are pretty solid too. There's an array of about five of them and the noise isolation is excellent. I definitely wouldn't use this for something like voiceovers, but for taking a call kind of an incognito way, they do a great job. But the biggest deal by far has to be Meta's AI model built into these smart glasses. Sometimes it just feels like Siri, but other times it feels like having an entire personal assistant in your ear. But none of this matters if they suck at being sunglasses, which thankfully isn't the case. Teaming up with Ray-Ban was definitely the right move here. The form factor of these is classic and familiar. They come with the Ray-Ban style charging case that blends into your everyday carry perfectly. The battery is rated for about four hours on a single charge, but I've typically found that I've only ever worn these long enough for them to die maybe two times, and the charging case can bring it back pretty quickly, about eight times to be exact. And the styling, I mean, come on, who doesn't love a good pair of Wayfarers? But if the horned rim of a Wayfarer isn't really your style, you can also opt for the Skylar or Headliner frames in a variety of different colors. Oh, and the lens options aren't lacking here either. They've got a variety of polarized and non-polarized colors and transition, clear, and prescription options. In terms of things that I'm not a huge fan of, the list is somewhat short, but definitely still relevant to share. There's this really cool feature where you can link these to an Instagram live stream and switch to the onboard glasses camera, which makes for a really cool party trick, but the connection I've found can be somewhat unstable nine times out of 10. I just have problems getting it to work. I also wish the plastic design held up a little better against scratches, but 
that's more of a sunglasses and Ray-Ban problem, less a meta smart glasses problem. But let's address the elephant in the room. When it comes to AI, sunglasses probably aren't the first thing that comes to mind. I mean, sure, you've had fads that have come and gone like Google Glass and even newer ones that are still around like all these different VR headsets. I mean, heck, the Apple Vision Pro. All of these have one thing in common that this does not have, a screen. You see, the reason this succeeds where other AI products have failed is because of the approach. People get so lost in the concept and the potential of an idea rather than the fundamental reason it actually exists. This leads to products like the Rabbit R1 and the Humane AI Pen that are developed in a novelty first form factor rather than an actual use case or useful approach. In layman's terms, it's like inventing a pen that only writes in invisible ink because it looks futuristic and cool. At first, it might grab attention, but in reality, it's not practical because you can't even see what you're writing. A gimmick is something you pick up, have fun with for five minutes, and then it goes right back in the case to collect dust for the next 10 years. But a good product is not a gimmick. It's something that you'll keep using because it actually serves a genuine purpose. So how can something that doesn't even have a screen be this good? One word, utility. A crucial part of making any product is making it useful and accessible. By making it both easy to use and functional, you invite people to keep coming back and integrate it into their everyday lives. This is something that Meta and Ray-Ban have executed very well. From the first time I ever put them on seven months ago to using them every single day, these are designed with purpose in mind. All of the features from calls and texts to the linking of other services like Apple Music and Spotify are executed in a way that just works so much so that it's one of those things that kind of makes your life easier. Also, I have to hand it to Meta for actually keeping up with the software updates. AI is not something that this product shipped with initially. It came out much later. In fact, I believe it was April of 2024. But this commitment to continually evolving these classes makes it feel like you're investing in an ongoing experience of sorts. These definitely aren't the same glasses that I bought back in February, and I really don't think they're gonna be the same glasses they are now come December. The Meta Ray-Ban Smart Glasses retail for $299 US, which honestly feels like a very small price to pay after using these, especially for something that feels like an extension of your phone, much like an Apple Watch, but helps you live more in the moment. So many people spend so much time wondering what the future will look like, and it's staring them right in the face. Technology of the future is already here, and it's here to stay.